Hi guys, Versus Education here with the 23rd video of the Unreal Development Kit Beginner Series. And in this video, I'm going to be going over decal actors inside of UDK and uh, creating decal materials which you can actually use with them. So let's go ahead and uh, start off by explaining exactly what a decal is. Well, a decal is essentially an overlay, uh, like a projected material onto the surface, usually within a, uh, a certain area. So if I quickly select one of my new decal actors, which I've actually added into the level, you can see we've got a little box around it, and beneath, and, and, and inside of that box, you can see we've got, uh, some kind of material. However, this material is actually going over numerous static meshes, so you can see that it's definitely not the meshes, and it's, uh, more of a projected material as opposed to just uh, a, a normal material applied to a static mesh. So I can show you this better by actually rotating my decal actor around here so you can actually see that it moves around with the projection area of this decal. Also you can see it's really seamless and works well thanks to the help of an alpha so it actually crops out all the stuff that you normally have like the black areas and so on and so forth which is actually pretty cool to be honest and uh, that's essentially what I'm going to be showing you in today's tutorial. So you can see I've actually got a whole bunch of these placed around and you can see I've rotated them and all that sort of stuff to kind of add that little bit of variation to my environment because at the moment uh, I'm essentially using very modular pieces and uh, it's very consistent, too consistent for my liking. So I'm using these decals to actually add in materials like this. So remember you can use more than one type of decal material. So you can have things like little splatters, like blood splatters, or you can have urine stains like I have on the floor here. You can do whatever you want. And a good example of um, the decal is actually on this screen here which I made uh, earlier today just for fun. Uh, you can see it's actually overlaid on top of the material and actually goes onto the walls and stuff too and it even turns down the emissive a little bit because the emissive light cannot get uh, through so far and actually it kind of looks like it's a sort of broken screen but um, you know enough of that. Uh, let's begin with actually showing you how to create uh, a decal material. So let's start off by showing you what you're going to need. So over here you can see I've got two different types of textures here. First and foremost I have the diffuse texture which essentially gives it the color and the second one which I haven't shown you yet is an opacity mask. Having said that anything in the white area isn't going to be cut out however everything in the black area is going to be cut out and won't actually be included in the material. So I'm going to give you a quick example of that when I fly into my level real quick uh, if I can find it. So in the case of this little decal material here, the white areas would be the little urine stains, whereas all the black stuff where there isn't any would, uh, uh, where, yeah, would, do. yeah, so the black area would be the bit where there's nothing, whereas the white area would be the, uh, the urine stains, uh, texture itself. So, let's begin with, uh, bringing these into, um, UTK and actually creating our decal. So remember this is essentially the decal I'm going to be creating. It's just going to be the Virtus Education uh, logo projected onto some walls and stuff like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and go down to my Virtus Education package which I have here and uh, begin to import my uh, two textures. It shouldn't take too long as I've actually got them on my desktop already. Also when you're actually importing your opacity mask you want to make sure that you're using blend underscore masked. That way it knows it's an opacity mask and uh, it can make the appropriate uh, it can make the appropriate actions. So let's go ahead and uh, right click in here and go to new and then go to decal material. Keep in mind you can't necessarily use standard materials for decals. They need to be specifically decal materials. So if I actually just go ahead and type in um, if I actually just look at the materials bit here, you can see mainly we've got materials, however we also have a special kind called decal materials and I can then just essentially drag these into the scene as I so please uh, as a decal actor. Just like that, pretty simple really. So let's go ahead and um, set up our decal. So I've already imported them, I think. Uh, okay, yeah, there we go. So let's just go ahead and uh, create that new decal. So right click new and then decal material name it whatever you want I'm gonna call this logo decal test 
and then you're going to see that it brings up the material editor. And this material editor works in exactly the same way as the normal material editor. So you can do things like material animation, specular, emissive, diffuse, and all that, uh, you know, visual good stuff and all that. So, you know, you can do pretty much whatever you want. However, with a decal, you're most likely going to want to uh, have an opacity mask to it. Having said that, we've actually got to change our material so it actually supports opacity. So go down to where it says material here, go to blend mode, and then change this to blend underscore masked. And this will allow that opacity and translucency and stuff. So let's just go ahead and uh, bring in our diffuse wherever that is. Um... Okay, so this is our uh, diffuse. Let's bring this into here. Let's go ahead and press T. I'm going to hook this up, and then also I'm going to hook up decal opacity. The little receptor thing here for uh, opacity mask wouldn't have been available unless you actually select the opacity mode, uh, sorry, the blend mode to masked. So if I set this to opaque, you'll see it's grayed out and is no longer in use. However, with it selected to masked and I have this uh, actually hooked up, you can see everything that's in the black area of this is actually gone. You can actually see through it and, uh, you know, it's going to be a little more seamless. I'm just going to go ahead and save this. And uh, we're actually going to begin to drag it into the scene and then go through some of the accompanying settings. So, I apologize for that taking a while. No, please don't. Ah, oh, god damn it. Okay, there we go. Thank god for that. I thought it was going to crash on my ass there. So, anyway, let's drag this decal material into the scene. Pretty much as simple as that. You drag it in and you can see it's working. And you see there's none of that black stuff which is actually in the material. It's all just the logo or the decal texture itself. So if I press G, get out of this view quickly, you can see that I can then move this around. And this is actually going to just go straight forward to so wherever the projection area is. Like you can see this little arrow coming out of that and that's the direction it's going to be projecting in. So if I move this left or right, you can see the decal uh, moves accordingly. And also, if you actually look at the mesh it's projecting onto, you can see there is varying levels of depth. You can see this one's in a little bit, this one's out a little bit, and regardless of that, it will actually just put it on whatever it can uh, in that direction. So you don't need to worry about uh, it not working on uh, anything that isn't a plane or anything like that. So let's go through some of the settings we actually have for this decal now. So there isn't too much to know about it. You've got things like tiling, uh, you've got things like the offset, pretty stupid, uh, decal rotation. So let's just go ahead and play around with some of these. So the first one is width, pretty self-explanatory. If I change this to 500, it's going to be slightly wider. The same with the height, it's going to make it slightly taller. And then I can tile it so I can make this 2 and 2. It's just going to be a little bit smaller because of the tiling. I can play around with offset. That just essentially just moves it to the left or the right, uh, however much you tell it to. Decal rotation, um, pretty self-explanatory really. Just rotates the decal a bit like this. You can change this whatever you want. However, I would personally advise just using the transformation tools as uh, they're a lot easier to work with. And the other thing I want to show you uh, in terms of the settings is the sort order. So with this decal actually being essentially a layer, so if you've used like Photoshop or in graphics editing software or anything like that, you'll be familiar with layers and decals are essentially going to be layers. So you could actually have one decal on top of another and you can choose the order of that. So if this is number one, it's going to go ahead of decal number two. So the Vats Education logo is going to be in front of the urine stain that I have on the floor. So it's pretty much everything I wanted to go over. Make sure you do actually uh, play around with some of these, for example, project on certain things and so on. So thanks for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.